Okay, we're gonna try. Huh. Okay. So you do get something from doing this. Okay. <laughs> I was just doing it. Oh, okay. I haven't played as Engine for a while. It used to be my favorite on the retro original, so... I haven't got very many... There aren't very many outfits for him, just stupid outfits. They really turn him into the goofball character, but I mean he always was kind of goofy. I might put something with wheels on. Let's try one of the new colors, I guess. Uh, so now it really makes you want to get gold, because it's like, well, I've got like silver and bronze. <laughs> Kind of like, you know, you want to you want to get a nice golden one now. <laughs> it's gonna be much harder though. So yeah, uh, we're going to try hard mode, uh, I've done hard mode on a few other tracks off screen, or they just didn't record, and I thought, well, you know, we'll actually try and do them. Uh, and I thought, oh, well, let's pick a loser character, because then, you know, it's, it's okay if we lose. <laughs> that's, that's my mentality for this. I don't know why. Yeah, man, I used to play Engine all the time. Engine was basically like, on the original, I used to play Engine, Dinga Dial, and I guess that was basically it. Polar sometimes, and then the boss characters because they, they were broke, broken, and it was fun. That was the way you beat, like. <laughs> That was the way you beat hard mode on the original game, was taking a boss character that had busted stats, and now that they all have balanced stats, it's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> just take Papu Papu or, like, Pinstripe and just take fuck it and call it a day. Because <laughs> it's like, you know, Rickaroo having the best handling in the game in the original game was just not really like something that helped you very much at the high level. So you just took the guy with the best top speed in the game. Entropy's stats were fucking busted in the original game. I love that. It was like either it was 555 or it was like 554 or some shit. It was just dumb. Zero things on a scale out of five. Even now it still is. <laughs> oh no, I got sealed. This isn't a good start. This is not a great start on the 7th. Might not do it first time. <laughs> Just gonna throw that out there. Also, I decided for some reason after playing mostly top speed based characters to use an acceleration based character and it's just going terribly. <laughs> Uh, maybe I should stick to balance for these. I was doing okay with Crash. Ooh. Like, I love this track, by the way. It's, I, I always like Polar Pass. I don't know. I'm not doing great today though. <laughs> so let's think of some Crash trivia. Engine was brought in in uh, Crash Bandicoot 2 to replace Embryo. Uh, I don't know why they changed from Embryo to like what the what the decision was, as in like in the studios to go. Oh yeah, like um, Embryo is boring. Let's make Engine. The next thing, I, I don't know what, maybe they wanted to go in a different direction and go into mechanized stuff more, maybe they just thought Embryo was a boring design, I, I don't know. 
Because Embryo isn't exactly like that interesting. He's just generic mad scientist with Frankenstein. Frankenstein's monster kind of like vibes and it's like this engine's a little more complex in visual design but like god they just turn engine into a huge loser and a bit of a weirdo who just always fails and isn't particularly like great as this. Haha <laughs> <laughs> I win. Uh, in 4 he really is shown as just like being a huge weirdo. <laughs> Take that seals. Gotta always spam that shortcut if you wanna actually win. <laughs> I'm third, please let me stay at least third. No! Ah! Oh, I nearly failed. Okay, that's not a bad start. Maybe I should do some. Uh, on my channel I'll show Crash Bandicoot 4 off at some point. I kind of played through most of it and it gets really hard after a while and like honestly it's not grabbing my attention the way I hoped it would. It's got some cool stuff but it just feels like uh you know like it's just not the same which is yeah of course it's not the same. <laughs> like I don't know like it's okay but it just feels like I don't know, like an activity book. Like, oh look, it's a thing you like. Go do all the stuff in it, and you're like, oh, I don't, I don't know if I can be. It's not grabbing me, the way. And it's obviously I've got no nostalgia, so it's like, oh, you know. <clears throat> oh, hey, it's it's my track. I should win here. That's how that works, right? Engine labs. Is there a baby panda? Is that baby crash with a panda outfit skin on? Oh, that's so confusing. Ah, oh, see? See, this is what I mean about <laughs> hard mode. They do not shy away. They will give them everything. I keep fucking that one up. You gotta slide through the tunnel, but like, that's a little different from what it used to be. It's good. Yeah, you, you can't hit me if I keep getting shielded by the barrels crushing my face. Now I'm the winner, me. Can't hurt me if I hurt myself. <laughs> That's a bit dark. Okay, I gotta try and like try to beat the use of Stalin skin of Ti Tiny Tiger there. General Tiny, I think it's called. Why? I don't remember him being a general in anything. Is he a general in Crash Bash or something? I, like, this that's unlocking a deep memory. Like, I swear he was in a military uniform for some promotional art at some point. Oh, that's, that's deep in there. <laughs> oh man, I like to throw the potions forwards, but like, they're never very accurate when you do that. <laughs> Oh, third second, third second, third second. Come on, man. First, yes. Oh, fuck. They don't want to give me this shit. They just... They will not... It's not free. <laughs> it's not free. Don't even know what you're saying. I'm being beaten by fake crash. No. Could get better at chaining boost around that corner. I think that's the key. I oh barrel save me oh fuck. See what I mean? That was like two or three separate missiles, and they get yeah, motherfucker. They really just want to like 
They really just want to get you on that stuff. Oh, third again. Two thirds. Might not be enough points wise though, because of the way the points are in this game. Yee. That's not good. And we've got Hot Air Skyway next. I think. Yeah. Oh, let's get to the next one. Oh, uh, yeah, like, short opinion of Crash Bandicoot 4 is, yeah, you could call it a cheap cash-in, but they deliberately put loads of content in there, but it feels very loveless, like, you know, uh, like, so much work put in, but it feels like it was made by people who don't care about Crash Bandicoot, by people who are just like, okay, we need to just make this, and it was probably a lot of crunch. But, like, that's just my guess. I mean, like, I don't want to, like, diss people if they enjoyed the uh, process of it. The big thing that everyone complains about is there are way too many gems, and you have to do a load of weird side shit to get each one. Some of them are hidden in the level, uh, every level's got like 10 gems, it's just so stupid. And um, the worlds are themed this time, so you're going through the same tile set basically for like several missions in a row. The difficulty is quite high. Um, you can play as Crash or Coco, but like they handle. Oh, you mother! The AI is just out to kill you in this. I would have got that. Hot Air Skyway is like the Rainbow Road. I think I see this at the top of this. There's a lot of like, you can fall down. Uh. Yeah, like, I like some of the things they did, like bringing Dingadar back and aging him up and going, yeah, Dingadar's just given up, he just doesn't give a shit. It would have been interesting to see other characters as well, like, it's set directly after Crash Bandicoot 3, by the way, which means, well, I say directly after, like, as a consequence and using that cannon, and only that cannon, basically. Which is a ballsy thing to do, kind of, but like, there's lots of stupid references to other games. Like, in the new Cortex boss fight, he says, Now you will face the wrath of Cortex, and you're like, Ah, oh, I see what you're doing. That video game that, like, you're pretending doesn't exist. <laughs> like, in this canon, is now dropped as, like, a liner, a one liner. Oh, come on, radical it. Eight. I'm gonna get no points for this. Ooh, maybe hit that potion. Yeah, I like what they did with the characters. You can play as Cortex. Uh, I don't know if I like playing as Cortex, but you can play as Cortex. I don't like the way he handles in the game, and he's in a lot of the harder levels. So that makes it like. He's introduced late, and you have to learn how to play his playstyle suddenly at a very high level. So it makes you go, oh, like, I'm talking like World 5 or 6, you get to play as Cortex, because he's a boss, and then he joins your team. Um, Dingadal is fun. I like playing as Dingadal. It was nice that they gave him some development. I'm surprised. I Tiny Tiger doesn't hasn't shown up from where I've been yet. I haven't finished it, finished it, but like uh, I got to the Entropy boss fight and was like, oh, the game keeps going after this because it's a tough boss fight, and the, I felt like I can't remember if the credits were all. One, my missile it just disappeared. Fuck. Every time, man. Every time they're behind you. Oh, this is not 
gone well. Eighth, man, eighth. Too late for speed, mate. <laughs> that was bad, that was bad, man. I'm not gonna make this back on Slide Coliseum with these points. Look, Fate Crash has 27 fucking points. He's been first like every time to do that. Yeah, it was pretty good. Uh, I didn't recognize Torna because like there's like some weird shit going on where she's like alternative universe Torna, where she's like a badass, but she's changed her haircut and like everything. And I was like, this could have just been a new character. Why did you make it Torna? Oh, I guess fine. And she plays well, but I'm not sure if I like like her character, she's just like there, and I'm like, okay, cool. Uh, Oxide is there, like, everyone is there. Well, not everyone, like I said, Tiny's not there. Engine is there, but he's dealt with after World like two. Embryo is there, and he's quite hard actually. He's not the hardest, but he's like, he introduces a whole mo extra mechanic of the game, which means there's even more gems to deal with. Which just felt like, we're gonna make this happen, and it's just gonna be put a random filter over the level and make you do it all again with remix stuff. And it's like, oh, come on, man, that's barely content. <laughs> yeah, cut the corner. Yeah, I hit him. First, right now. Oh, I went through the boxes. Yeah, so it's an interesting game. I actually have to put it on the channel at some point, but it's really fucking hard, and I don't really want to do a full LP of it because it's so hard. And, um. Yeah, I don't have as much love for it, obviously. But it's got some points of interest, like I said, and the, there's some like other bonus levels where it shows like you collect videotapes, and the videotapes are like you control the, the crash in the videotape, and it's basically like recordings of Cortex's like tests to show if see if Crash Bandicoot is suitable to suitable for release. And it's a pretty interesting use of the bonus level mechanic, because it's like the Cortex token bonus level mechanic of the first game. Re redone. It's, it's pretty neat. It's a neat idea. And they're kind of timed. They're, no, they're not timed. They can be timed. There's like time trials and stuff, I think. But like... Uh, they're like get all of the boxes in the in the stage and you get like a better medal but I don't really get all of them. oh there's so many skins as well like, like there's a lot of cosmetics in this game no I'm first you panda <laughs> panda asshole clip me at the last minute not that it would have done anything might have got me second, maybe. Oh yeah, I have to reattempt this later. Oh, engine didn't help me. I'll cry. Oh yeah, so maybe I'll do some Crash Four stuff like. Uh, it's a pretty, it's an okay game, but like I said, it just feels like activity that I'm doing, not because I really want to, but because, oh, well, you know, something to do kind of feeling, so I'm not as passionate about it. But yeah, it's worth showing. Especially Dingadar. I like Dingadar's updated design. Damn it, I lost a fake crash. <laughs> 